So we devised EpiMinder. So this is the actual device. And this is based around a, a bionic ear unit. So a bionic ear uses uh, a can like this uh, that sits underneath the skin of the scalp behind the ear. And it has an electrode which goes into the ear. And we've modified all of that. We modified what's inside the device. And also we've got an electrode set which goes underneath the scalp. So all of this is put underneath the scalp behind the ear and these electrodes go under the skin of the scalp across the top of the head and the contact points on them record the brain's electrical activity. Now that whole thing is powered by a unit uh, as with a bionic ear that sits outside uh, the skin so this connects to the device using a magnet so there's a magnet in here and that clips to the device through the skin and holds onto it and supplies power and takes off the data and the data goes to this unit which is worn a little bit like a hearing aid behind the ear and transmits data from that directly to a mobile phone and from the phone we can take the data off and analyze it and as well the EEG is shown on the phone. So this will catch seizure activity accurately 24 hours a day, seven days a week and it will send it off to be analyzed by people who could be on the other side of the world analyzing the data so you can be analyzed remotely. And at the moment we're using this just to show that we can catch seizure activity as accurately as the patients. That's the study at the moment. But of course, we expect that we'll catch seizure activity much more accurately than the patients and we'll see more seizures that they're not aware of. And also we'll be able to see some events that they report as seizures maybe aren't seizures. And this is very important as well. Down the track, we'll be able to connect these systems to safety monitoring services so that if you've had a long seizure, someone could be notified. We'll be able to connect them to prediction services because we know that if we've collected enough seizures, and exactly when they happen, we can start to do a pretty accurate prediction of them. And so we can give that information back to patients. So in the long term, our ambition is to have a, a system like on a phone, like a weather app, that will tell patients how many seizures they're having, when they're likely to have seizures, and let them set it up so that they can have people notified if they're having long seizures, or if they've had a seizure and fallen over, all the sort of um, safety measures that you can make real using technology that we have available right now. So we've put in two of these devices so far and we're putting more in as part of the trial over the next few months. We're hoping for a total of 12 or 15 patients with these devices in just to prove that they work as well as we expect and, and so far that's all been going very well. Um, and then down the track we'll expand it into an international study so we can get much bigger numbers of people. And in the meantime we're improving the devices and the services and the technology behind it. So it's changing very quickly and of course we've got a, a very big partner in the technology field with Cochlear who are a major investor in the project and has been going really as, as well as we could possibly hope. But it's really exciting, I mean this is a really new and um, big development for people with epilepsy which will let us do different things, it will let us make patients life more safe, it will let them have more um, freedom, it will give them more independence and it will let the doctor more accurately judge therapy for the person. So. I'm hoping that it'll be a, a big change to epilepsy all around the world.